Hey y'all, I hope you're doing well. So look what I made. It is an eye cord. It's so pretty. You can create this with a lucid fork. You can create this with your crochet hook, but I created this with a little machine and I'll show you how I did it. Hey y'all, so I hope this video finds you well. You guys, you know me, I love a good crochet gadget. And this is that. It is an eye cord knitter, knitter machine. It is not anything new on the market. I've seen this around for a while, but it's really neat. And if you like to make cords or if you can find a reason to make a cord, this is an easy way to do it. Now, I have a video on my channel currently that shows you how to use a lucid fork and it creates the same exact style cord. Um, but it's more manual. This one is manual, but the Lucic Fork is very old school manual, okay? Okay, so a closer look out of the package. This is what your machine will actually look like. It has a handle. That area in the bottom is where the yarn is gonna come through. This is the little weight that you're gonna use to make sure the yarn stays nice and taut while you're turning your handle, cranking it out. And then it also has a nice small crochet hook, which does come in handy when creating the project, okay? Okay, so the needles that are in here, there's only four of them. They open and close, and that's how the cord is created. They have a latch at the bottom, which you can see it once you actually get your own, that, like I say, open and close. And then over here, this is your um, guide, your lower guide, and then you're going to drop it down the tube in the center. So it all just kind of works like magic. Real quick thing here, you do want to use a lightweight yarn. That's important because if you use a big bulky yarn, it will not fit and it will get clogged at the bottom part of this process. It won't fit underneath the hooks either, okay? So for this demonstration, I'm gonna just use a lightweight yarn. I believe this is like a weight two or three. Um, it's one of my knit crate yarns, but I'm gonna show you how I do it. When you turn the handle, as I was just illustrating, the needles go up and down and that's gonna be how we kind of create the, the cord, okay? So first things first is once you determine the type of yarn that you want to use, you're going to guide it through the machine. So you have a lower guide, which is that U looking hook, it's silver on the side there. You're going to thread the yarn or pull the yarn through the lower guide and then you're going to drop it through the upper guide. And I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So up the side, right just like this and then you're going to go just straight down the tube or the cylinder in the middle there so we have not messed with the needles at all we're literally just dropping the yarn down through the machine see and then once it drops down you are going to need to feed that into the weight now remember earlier i showed you that little small uh, circular device there here is the weight and it's a little weighty um not heavy, heavy, but just gives it a little weight so the yarn does not move around. It does have a push level on the side. You'll need to push that in order to open up the center so that the yarn can be clasped and it won't move. And so that is the goal here. You want to make sure that that stays nice and taut. Okay. So if you find yourself having any issues in the very beginning with things not working out, start here and making sure that your yarn is pulled tight so that you have a nice tension, okay? So let's get in here real quick and show you how to thread everything together. Your yarn is already in here, so you want it to go underneath the first latch behind the second latch, okay? We'll do it again. You're gonna go underneath the next latch. We'll make sure that it closes, and then you're gonna go behind the next latch. I'm gonna show you this one more time, okay, guys? Okay, so one more time, guys. Also, make sure that all of your your little hooky thingies are open. You want all of the latches to be in the open position so you can use your little, um, you can use your finger or you can use a little crochet hook to make sure all of them are in the open position, okay? Then you're gonna turn the handle clockwise, so maybe front to back, okay? And you're gonna keep turning it until the yarn catches underneath the very first needle, okay? Once it's underneath the first needle, the second needle that it comes through, you wanna make sure that it goes behind it. Okay, and you don't need your crochet hook for this, but it came with it, so I'm using it. <laughs> and then the next one, you're going to make sure that it goes in front and it catches. You're gonna keep turning. And when you come to that very last hook, you're gonna make sure it goes behind. So you saw how we did that, we alternated. We went front to behind, front to behind. Then you're gonna to continue to turn the wheel and it's gonna catch the yarn. It's gonna catch the yarn, it's gonna catch the yarn, okay? And that's how you're going to get this started. So remember I was talking about that weight. You wanna see how the tension is between the machine and the weight. 
you want to make sure that it's nice and pulled because the yarn is dropping through the machine and if you don't it's going to jumble along the top portion of the cylinder the tube so make sure that you have a nice distance you can kind of tilt the machine a little bit back that creates some tension or you can just continue to pull the weight away from the machine so that way it keeps pulling the yarn down through the machine now, now you do want tension on the weighted side but the yarn that's coming from the actual skein that needs to be nice and loose so don't get them confused at the bottom end you want a little tension at the top where the yarn is pulling through you want that to be nice and loose okay so it works up really quickly you just get to crank in take your time in the very beginning to make sure everything lines up perfectly and then once you you have that just start cranking <laughs> And it's really neat. The loosened fork is fun. That goes faster than crocheting it, I think. But um, this is even faster than that. So once you've determined your desired length for your rope, let me show you how to take it off the machine. Okay, so what, at this point, you're going to just turn the handle counterclockwise. So it's going to come towards you. In doing this, it's going to release. So each of those loops are going to now come off the needle and that's what you want but you want to make sure that you're doing this carefully because you don't want to lose the loops in the process so in my case right here my yarn had a little split in it so it kind of caught, caught on the needle that is not an issue you just want to make sure that you help the process along so that everything drops through the, the tube in the center that is the goal so go ahead and cut the yarn to the leaving a tail probably like 12 inches or so depending on the project and at this point you're not quite done yet. So you have four distinct loops that are not secured and the goal here is we want to make sure we get these nice and secured. I'm gonna use a yarn needle because I found that to be a little bit more efficient for me. And all you're gonna do is just take the tail and you're just going to feed it through each of those loops. But be careful, you don't wanna lose the loops in the process of trying to pull it. So don't pull it as you're going, just kinda put the tail through each loop and then you want to pull it to secure everything together. So give it a nice little tug, make sure all of those loops are, are well, you know, sewn in, and then that's it. You have a really cool little cord, okay? Okay, so here are a few yarn suggestions. You can use a sports weight yarn, a baby yarn, which is a nice thin yarn, or even this embroidery thread. This all works perfectly with this machine. A good pro tip would be like if you have a uh, really thin weight yarn that you purchased and didn't realize it was so thin you could use this machine to create a thicker bulk yarn and then you can create your project so a little bit more of a step but you now have something to do or use with that lighter weight yarn that you may have gotten and you're like oh my gosh what am I going to do with this very thin yarn this machine is a lifesaver for that. For those of you who may be wondering where I got this machine, of course I got it off trusty Amazon, um, but it is um, the Tulip brand. So there are other brands out there. I just found that this one was a, from a reliable company, so I went with it since I'm spending my coins. So anyway guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. Any questions, leave them down in the comment section below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.